Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle with the Vacaville Baseball Barn Master Instructor David Steen Hitting System and Online Hitting Academy. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit the notifications button so you get all future videos. So I just wanted to cover a little bit, I, you hear the word athleticism, fundamentals, um, these are the basics of the swing, and then a coach will come in and say your, hat, your foot has to be here, and your foot has to be here, and you should have the certain distance between your feet, and, and, and it just continues on like that, that this is how you need to be. Now, for the basics, absolutely. You know, when the, when the player's really young, if they're not really sure where to stand, you can kind of guide them in that direction. But when you started getting into these absolutes that your feet can't move around and you have to have your hands here and your hands can't be higher, they can't be low, they can't be shoulder height, your elbow has to be up. When you start getting into absolutes like that, that's where you, you really gotta start questioning the coach and say, hey, why, why do I have to do it that way? And one specifically that stands out in my head is a, a young man that played uh, against us a lot. I think he guest played with us on, on one of our teams. But he would have a tendency to move his feet around. And it just drove his dad crazy, which was his coach. And I've seen several Major League Baseball players do the same thing. And I've actually instructed a couple of players of mine, very small guys, that we'd start doing the step back drill and then fall through and, and swing and you know start trying to get a little more momentum, a little more weight shift into the front leg, to create a little more ground force, so you can hit the ball harder. So, and talking with the dad, my suggestion was have him do this in practice on a live pitch, start getting used to that. And then his dad, the light bulb went off and he goes, are you next going to suggest that he does this in a game? I said, absolutely. Now, I guarantee people are clicking and saying, hey, you should never move your feet in the batter's box. Well, if you should never move your feet, then everybody should do a no stride and no one would have any kind of rhythm or tempo. The idea behind this is to find what's comfortable for the player, but also to help him improve. Maybe he'll eventually, as he gets older and stronger and bigger, that his, he keeps his back foot here and then gets through with the swing and everything else works well. But there's nothing wrong with taking a player that we need to work with, and, and if he likes to move his feet around, let him move his feet around. As soon as his feet go planted, and then he's got to think about just taking this step, well, now you can see where my hands are. I'm focused so much up here, my hands are kind of low. And if my foot lands here and my hands are here, unless I'm Justin Turner, I'm not going to be able to swing the bat very well. So let the kids move around a little bit. If they like moving the bat around, if they like to move the feet around like this, there's nothing wrong with that. Teach them the rhythm as the pitcher gets to a certain point, they need to move back into their back hip. They need to do whatever, toe tap, straight stride, lift the foot up, put it back down, but let them move around a little bit. Get them off the plate, move them back in the box. Keep them behind the front part of the plate, especially with fast pitchers. So don't try to say that these are absolutes of a particular area, especially when we're talking style, until you get into this technique. And then there are some variances there. It doesn't mean you have to be at this exact perfect position. Hands might be a little bit lower, hands might be a little higher. We definitely want the front shoulder down. There's some things that we want, but they don't have to be absolutely perfect. Keep that in mind. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notifications for future videos, and share it with everybody you know.